And hello guys, so I'm be showing you guys how to uh, use my loot spawning script and yeah it's gonna do so first of all you need your player start position right here and let's go ahead and drag in our dented or anything actually it can be anything you want I'm just gonna use a dented barrel for now so let's click here to spawn it in and let's uh, go to properties in this barrel and I'm just gonna give this name like a loot holder or whatever and make sure uh, first of all that static mode is set to no um, and down here in always active set this to yes now next let's go to our AI system and in main let's set this to loot and loot spawner dot lua let's hit apply changes and this is our holder script so this isn't gonna be where our loot spawns this is just gonna where, where our script is being held so now let's place our uh, let's place some stuff to where our loot was spawned so let's place a table here and a table there Let's put a shotgun on this table right here, and an AR on this one right here. And why not some, just one bullet. Okay, so, how we're going to do this is we need to do a couple of things to make this loot spawn. So first of all, we need to go into our script. To go to the script, uh, you can, to, to go to it, you need to go to your, um, uh, this PC, you go to C drive, you need to go to users, or no, sorry, not users, uh, Program files times 86. Go down to Steam. Go to Steam apps and find and go to Common. Find Game Group. Go in here. Go to Files and go to Script Bank. So that's down here. Now in here, find Loot. So here's where we're going to be editing our script. So make sure you have something like Notepad plus plus or something. But go ahead, right click and hit Edit with Notepad plus plus. So this will show you the entire script. I left a few notes. Um, up here. It's just these values here you want to play with. So loot. So this is how we're gonna add loot. So here, where i equals five, five is our ID number, and one is just the number in the array list. So let's go ahead and go into our game, and let's say we want the shotgun to spawn. So so we're gonna hover over it, and I will zoom in for you. Uh, as you see, the entity ID is five. So I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go into my Notepad plus plus, and one is equal to five. I already have that done. But let's say we also want the AR. We're gonna go back in here. We're gonna copy this line and we're gonna go down the line and control V change this to two and we need to get the ID for this one right here which this one's ID is six so let's go back up change this to six now you also need our ammo so let's control V that again and we're name this to three and the ammo's ID seems to be seven so let's go back up here change five to seven there we go now just in case you're interested, there are 40 ticks per second in game guru. I, according to yeah, but um, so our current loot duration don't really touch that. That's just for um the the counting up here. So don't really so yeah, just don't touch that unless you want to start at a certain number, which I do not recommend. But in loot spawn duration or loot spawn dur, uh, this is how long it'll wait until we spawn the next batch of loot. So. Right now I have to five for testing purposes. So go ahead and hit save, I already did. And if we go back into our game group and we hit play, we should be able to um, loot the stuff. So if we go, if we walk over, we pick up the shotgun and we wait, it will spawn it again. One, two, three, four, five, and there it is again. We pick up the AR and it will spawn it again. Now uh, for, uh, um, to, uh, for uh, yeah, uh, loot only spawns or the loot. The values are always changing, so it's not gonna wait for the loot to be uh, despawned. It's just gonna keep on changing the um, value because I do not know how to uh, wait until this is not found. So if you see it right now, if I pick it up, it'll spawn it like after three seconds. If I do it again, this will wait five seconds. And if it spawns, and I wait like one, two, three, and I pick it up, it spawns it right after. That's because the timer is always going. So there's no way to really fix that and if you do then that's uh yay <laughs> but yeah uh, i also want to point out if you want to use this as spawn entities i do not recommend it as you can see i was trying with this here but if we spawn in a tough zombie now you could do this but i just don't see why you would want to because it doesn't work that well but let's get the idea of this so the id is eight i'm just gonna show you guys if we change three go four and eight if we save that Go back to our game when we hit play. You'll see why I mean this isn't a good idea, but 
uh, how it works is it spawns in 